This weekend, the American public saw some upsetting things about the current state of U.S. immigration. The Trump administration policy of zero tolerance that has resulted in nearly 2,000 children being separated from their families. I was so upset I had to do something about it, which is why I'm here in D.C. to expose the Democrats' cruel treatment of Trump's immigration policies. They want to open up our borders like Swiss cheese and let MS-13 run for Congress. Conservatives agree, immigrant families are scary. Alien minors, they look so innocent, they're not innocent. You have unaccompanied minors coming over with gang affiliation. Don't Tommy, come to this country Tommy, hear, and me, complain about Tommy, the rule of law. These child actors weeping and crying on all the other networks 24-7 right now. Um, do not fall for it, Mr. President. Over the weekend, eight Dems had the gall to question this policy by visiting these detention centers to get this, see if the kids were okay. Their sick ringleader, Senator Jeff Merkley of Oregon, who wants us to believe this attitude towards immigrants is inhumane. I think that is a horrific attitude for the United States. Instead of protecting children, we're going to proceed uh, to inflict harm on them. The first time he visited, they called the cops on him, which makes sense because the conservative media knows that Merkley is the real threat here. Is this just a publicity stunt? Oh, it was completely a stunt. I mean, he had the media there. Well, guess what, Libs? I can play at this publicity stunt game, too. I'm going to turn the tables. I'm here at his office. Watch him throw me out. Well, hi, oh. Laura from the opposition. I'm hi. so glad you found my office. He's probably calling the cops on me right Come now. Come on in. Okay. So we're just going to talk? Let's jump in. So tell me a little bit about your decision to visit the processing center, this publicity stunt of yours. So my agenda was to find out if we had in fact implemented this new policy of traumatizing children by tearing them away from their families when the refugees are coming to seek asylum. How far are you willing to go with these publicity stunts? What's next? Are you going to shed light on sexual accusations against ICE? Are you going to shed light on the fact that statistically there's no correlation between immigrant populations and violent crime? Where does it end? Well, I would say we need a lot of light shined on, on a catastrophic policy that's being financed with our taxpayer dollars. So you admit it? Absolutely. Boom. Caught that on camera. <laughs> You're fighting for this humanitarian children's cause. Guilty. Busted! Before, when families were detained at the border, they were typically kept together to await civil trial. Now, under Trump, all migrants crossing the border are criminally prosecuted, which means the parents go to jail while their kids are given a blanket and shipped off to a detention center to hang out in a cage. Some have referred to them as cages, but it, keep in mind, they built walls out of chain link fences. Sorry, not cages. I meant a wall made out of a chain link fence. Totally different. The point is, it's not really that bad. It was a shocking sight to walk in initially just to see so many people so distressed, a number of people crying. They look like big cages or maybe the way you would construct a dog kennel. Do you know kids? Y you throw a cage in the middle of the room and they'll run into it. It's like a basically a free jungle gym. Well it didn't appear that any children were having much fun when I was there. Merkley seems determined to inhumanely force Trump to separate from his campaign promises on immigration. I would love to be able to rip that policy from them and, and end it. You're a monster. Merkley's ridiculous stunt of showing the plight of children in cages on American soil is somehow working. Democrats, former first ladies, current first ladies, Republicans like Rick Scott are even crossing sacred party lines to speak out against it. And I don't think there's any moral code in the universe or any religious tradition that finds it morally acceptable uh, to hurt children in order to influence parents. These asylum seekers are individuals who have gone through uh, uh, horrific circumstances. That's seared into my mind. That's going to stick with me for a long time. Lucky for me, nothing gets seared in here. <laughs> Dead as a doornail inside. There is one other American hero who is also dead inside, and here is what he's saying about the immigration policy. With all of that being said, we're doing a great job. The fight continues. You. Are you a deep state operative who was sent by George Soros to take away my Second Amendment rights and force feed me soy burgers? No? Well then prove it. Click and subscribe and join the opposition now.